Hello everyone and welcome to this free video tutorial about video file formats. My name is Lorraine Grula with VideoProductionTips.com. If you see a video file with .mov at the end of it, this stands for a QuickTime movie, which is a Apple product. Apple QuickTime is very common these days on PCs, so you don't need to worry about QuickTime movies not being compatible with PCs. They will be. QuickTime is considered a very good format by a lot of people who are into video because it gives you an excellent looking file. However, QuickTime movies are pretty large. They are not small files and that's one reason why it looks so good. So people who have the criteria of smallness don't necessarily like QuickTime, but people who have the criteria of quality do like QuickTime. And it is very compatible with most PCs, so you don't have to worry about that. That's not the issue. Now, real video is also quite common, and it is on most computers when you buy them. The player for real video, just like with the music, real, uh, real audio. Now, a lot of video files don't particularly like real video because it tends to be a little bit unstable and so forth, but it is very common. All right, now let's talk about all the MPEG formats, and there are several of them. MPEG actually stands for the Motion Picture Experts Group, which is the name of the standardizing agency that has come up with all of these formats. And they differentiate them simply by number. So you have MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, etc. The first one I want to talk about, though, is a Motion JPEG. This is not for the internet. This is for broadcast and some cameras, and you will see it quite commonly, but it's too large of a file for the internet. All right, now MPEG-1 was one of the early standards. This is an old format, but it's still very common, and it's used by a lot of digital cameras, and it was one of the first ways to get video onto a CD. So it's considered a very good format, and a lot of people still like it, but it has been upgraded. Now MPEG-2 is the format that your DVD player or your TiVo machine uses. If you go down to Blockbuster Video and rent a Hollywood movie on a DVD, that's going to be an MPEG-2 format, all right, which means it's a very big format and MPEG-2 is not suitable for the internet because of its size, but it is very common. Now MPEG-4 is the newest version of conversion software from the Motion Picture Experts Group, and I personally have to say that MPEG-4 is my favorite file format, and I say that because it gives excellent quality and a very small file. I converted something the other day to both an MPEG-4 and a QuickTime movie just to see the difference. I couldn't believe it. It was like 40 megs as an MPEG-4, and it was about 180 megs as a QuickTime, which is too big for most video sharing sites, and personally, I couldn't tell the difference looking at them side by side. My eyeballs aren't good enough to tell the difference. So I really like MPEG-4. And now YouTube accepts .wmv, .avi, .mov, and MPEG-4, and then YouTube will convert your file to an FLV. So you don't have to convert to an FLV if you're going with YouTube. They'll do it for you. And they use FLV because it is so universal. Now, YouTube claims, and I have to agree with them on this, that you are going to get the best final product in FLV if you start with an MPEG-4. So YouTube recommends that you upload things in the MPEG-4 format, and then they will convert it. Now, one of the best free conversion services that I have found is at www.zamzar.com. I've used them quite a bit. It's very easy. You email them your file, they convert it for you, and then email it back. It's quite simple and it is free. Zamzar handles, I think, every file format on the planet. So that's a great resource and it's free. Can't beat that. There are also many different free conversion software products that you can get. Free downloads, they work great. One is DivX, and the DivX networks and the open source community have come up with this, and you can find it at www.divx.com. And they claim that over 200 million downloads have happened off their website for that software, so it's extremely common and very popular. 
Another great conversion tool that's free that I use quite frequently is the MPEG Stream Clip software which is easy to find. I just googled MPEG Stream Clip and the uh, site came up as the first one in the organic search results. I have used it a lot to take video and turn it into a DV stream that I can then put into my editing program and edit off of. I've got lots of stuff that is in different formats and I want to edit on it and it needs to be or it's best if it's in DV for me to add it so I use the MPEG stream clip to take it to DV for me and it works like a charm and it works quickly I love it now a third resource for you is XVID which if you'll notice is just DivX backwards well that's because some people got together and said you know this DivX is just not what we want so we're gonna make something else and we're gonna make the name be backwards and call it XVID but anyway, it's a very popular, it's an open source thing, and um, it's free, and it does a great job. Well, there you have it, a brief explanation of digital video file formats. If you'd like more information on this subject, I have lots of articles on my blog at videoproductiontips.com. Good luck with your video project, and thanks for watching. I'm Lorraine Grula.